Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide from a case of basal cell carcinoma of the skin. And we are seeing here two sections from the tumor. Let's focus on this piece. Just to orientate ourselves, this is the surface of the skin. And this layer is the epidermis. So I'm going to trace the epidermis all the way here to the edges where it's pretty much normal. This is the region of the tumor. And we can see that this tumor is actually connected to the epidermis in this region and also over here. The tumor is composed of these islands, some of which are quite irregular, of basaloid cells. And when I say basaloid, this means that the nuclei are oval in shape, they are relatively uniform, and there is quite scant cytoplasm. So in other words, there are high NC ratios, high nuclear cytoplasmic ratios. So the tumor is composed of these geographic or irregular islands of basaloid cells. And one very striking feature is that at the edge of these islands, the nuclei tend to line up vertically. You can see this here, here, and you can also see it very clearly here. And this is known as nuclear palisading. Another interesting feature is you can see this clear space or cleft between this basaloid cell island and the surrounding fibrous stroma. And this is another feature of basal cell carcinoma. We can also see the clefting here and here. The stroma is fairly desmoplastic with proliferation of these spindle myofibroblastic cells. In some areas, we can also see this grayish bubbly looking material. And this is mucin which is quite commonly seen in basal cell carcinoma. Looking at higher magnification, we also see occasional pigment-containing macrophages. This is melanin pigment. Sometimes the tumor cells can also be pigmented, giving rise to a brownish or a dark brown appearance on the skin, which can mimic melanoma. We can see a mitotic figure here and another one here. Mitotic figures can be variably abundant in basal cell carcinoma. This tumor appears to infiltrate quite deep into the dermis, just about poking itself into the subcutaneous layer. Let's learn a bit more about basal cell carcinoma. This is a very common tumor usually occurring in fair-skinned, middle-aged adults. And the risk factors include UV radiation, immunosuppression, arsenic exposure and smoking, and some underlying genetic conditions. Many of these risk factors are similar to those for developing squamous cell carcinoma, which is another common skin tumor. Location-wise, it often occurs in the head, more so than in the trunk or other sites, and this is not surprising because of its correlation with UV radiation and sun exposure. Clinically, there are many variants. One of the commonest variants is the nodular variant, which usually appears as a raised area or a nodule on the skin. It can be pearly pink or dark brown. As you can see here, this is actually quite dark in color. And this often occurs in the pigmented basal cell carcinoma and you can see how closely this can resemble melanoma clinically. In the superficial variant, there may just be a patch or a plaque with this scaly reddish appearance. And the common variants, such as nodular or superficial variants, they tend to invade locally and only very rarely metastasize to regional or distant sites. Microscopically, nodular basal cell carcinoma, which is the example that we just saw, is composed of these islands or lobules of basaloid cells with peripheral nuclear palisading. It is attached to the overlying epidermis 
or the epithelium of the hair follicles. There may be sometimes cystic change and mucin production, which we also saw. And we may see clefts between the lobules and stroma. Again, we saw this earlier. And generally, the nuclei are relatively uniform. I just want to mention one other subtype here, the sclerosing, also known as morpheiform or morphic basal cell carcinoma. This appears a little bit different. Instead of these rather thick, large islands or nests, we have thinner strands and smaller nests of basaloid cells with less nuclear palisading, with much more sclerotic or fibrotic stroma, and these tumours tend to spread more extensively. In terms of prognostic factors, the histologic type is very important, with a lower recurrence rate for nodular and superficial type BCCs, and a higher recurrence rate for infiltrating or sclerosing morpheiform BCC as well as other types. Of course, the size, the status of the surgical margins and the stage is also important. Hence, in summary, this is an example of basal cell carcinoma of the skin. This is the nodular type of BCC, which is one of the commonest types. And we can see that there are invasive islands of basaloid cells, which are quite uniform, with peripheral nuclear palisading, formation of clefts between the islands and the stroma, and some areas of mucin production. Thank you.